Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, so on today's video, we'll be mainly talking about the things that could be improved to Brave 9 in the future and some things for the developers to take note of. So, if you guys have any suggestions, you can put it down in the comment section below because I'll be um, handing or submitting the videos to the developer or the Brave 9 team. I do think that um, um, by commenting on the section below, you will have a higher chance to get um, here by the team. Alright, let's just jump right to it. So basically, Drive 9 has a lot of um, updates in the last um, few months, which basically improve the quality of life of the players, such as the time three speed and much more. Um, I do think that um, on the rune piece sections, basically you can do you can also already do box summons. Um, but the thing is that if you you only uh, you only have the chance or the options to basically dismantle. Um, because me myself sometimes ran out of gold, I usually basically. Uh, have to box summons and then sell my runes one by one. I do think that in the future, Brave Knight could implement an auto sell um, rune piece so that um, we can easily sell the rune that we want, or even or they could help us um, auto sell the rune um, dependent on the rarity or the star for example if we click sell we can auto sell um, four star runes or even um, five star runes um, and depending we can sell it depending on the assault vital shield fatal rage depending on the type of the rune i do think that that is something that um, could be implemented in the future and could help people um, which depends on farming gold from the extra runes that we extra rune piece that we have all right another thing that i would like for the death proper to implement is the guild war because right now we only have the chance to basically do 20 times 20 guild war i do think um since a guild usually have like 30 players um let's check our guild for example silver wing um, you could see that we have uh, 31 members on the guild um, i do think by having only 25 20 uh, 20 versus 20 guild wars um, there is a lot of players which basically um, can't attack and I don't think that it is fair for them because they won't be able to get enough guild patch so in order to exchange for the legend skill piece book um, and their activity points um, could be less because they are unable to attack. I do think that um, the developer could increase the amount of a participant in the guild war for example like 25 versus 25 or even 30 versus 30 um, and then another thing that i would like for the developer to take note is some improvement on the uh, units the basically i have a unit which i really like called gloria because her skill is very unique so, um, it's the same as Ce cecilia um, which in Cecilia case is airy absorption uh, which is the only skill that um, sh she has alone in the game as you can see um, and I do think Gloria's skill is also pretty unique which is a permanent skill shield which is a reflective counter which give attack interference um, I do think that her kit is very unique and Basically, the developer could improve the silence or the attack interference 
so that um, it will be relevant in the current meta um, because her skill is very unique um, another thing which I would like to talk is the reworks of um, Angelica and Belliot because basically right now Belliot is very irrelevant even though she is a legend support on the other hand um, Rifitia is still relevant um, I do think that um, it is very unfair for Belliot because she does not have chance to shine um, I do think that um, most of people are not using Belliot because her skill or start uh, enhancement her resurrection skill is basically blocked off by Mamonia and also wiped off by Celia um, in the future they could um, basically ch change, change the skeleton resurrection bestowal into some sort of um, skills which cannot be removed and I do think that um, it will once again make Belliot um, shine another thing about Angelica is um, I do think that it is very unfair for her because she is not being used at all right now even um, because of her third skill which are only barrier ignoring I do think that it is it would be fair for her to basically get either death ignore fixed damage or direct damage on her third skill especially with her only having two attack tile um, at plus 15 um, if you will if you the developers would be giving at least um, direct damage or fixed damage they could give them only to the main tile and I do think that it will be very uh, very fair for Angelica so that she will be able to shine once again um, another thing uh, I it is to bring back conquest I do think that conquest is being deleted um, because I do think that having a 1v1v1 one fee, uh, one fee, one fee one guild war is very good but there is some thing that I do think is very unfair because guild could um, co cooperate and destroy the other guild in the uh, conquest but I do think that it is a good source of diamonds and uh, guild batch so that people could be able to buy more legend skill books and also the skill book piece all right and lastly um, the thing that I do think has a very low probability of being done is called a uh, surfer merge I do think that having a server merge could basically revive the game and bringing a lot of um, excitement back to the guild wars because we'll be facing another huge guild from the other server um, basically also putting a lot of people in the arena which give players the incentive to be having um, to achieve rank 1 once again instead of just playing casually uh, I don't think that you have to merge all the server together you can basically merge for example Asia and Europe or even Europe with global or even Asia with global um, Japan and Korea itself is already big and since we already met them in World Arena once a month I do think that um, server merge would be making more fun to the game um, alright that is all for today's video um, if you guys have some suggestions or ideas for the developers I do think that you guys can um, 
comment on the section below and we'll pray so that the developer will see the video and also read the comments so that they could implement yours and my idea in their future updates all right thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye